It's true, you're struggling with your serve because you're not doing this drill. And in today's video, I'm going to show you the drill you need to be doing when you step on the court. My name is Jeff Salzenstein. I'm the founder of Tennis Evolution. Some people call me the serve surgeon. And in today's lesson, I'm gonna give you one of my favorite drills to help players get their serve to the next level. All right, let's get into this lesson today. We're gonna to focus on a specific drill that I love to teach almost all my players. Now, why would I want this drill to be the staple drill in my tennis serve system? Well because players have a lot of problems when they have the full when they use a full motion so i always tell people you know tennis was invented in the late 1800s and you see all those pictures they're in their whites uh, all whites and they're and they're going down together up together and they're going up on their tiptoes and they're doing a lot of different things but it doesn't look like pete sampras's serve or roger Federer's serve and so what we see is a lot of players today when they start their motion they just move with their arms together like this so there's no turn at all. One of the biggest problems I see with players is they don't turn and coil. They just keep moving their arms. And what you wanna learn how to do when you serve is you wanna learn how to connect the lower body and the upper body. And you might've noticed right there when I made this move, I turned and I coiled. Now I want you to notice when I just move my arms and I don't turn and coil, where does my elbow go? And where does my shoulder go, right? They just stay in this line. But then when I turn, like this, look at where my elbow is and look at where my shoulder is. I get a nice turn and a nice coil. You may have heard me talk about elbowing the enemy before. That's what we're trying to do. We're trying to elbow the enemy. Well, how the heck do you do it if you have this habit of turn, if not turning, of going down together, up together like this? Or if you have this habit of even if you do turn a little bit and you drop your elbow I see a lot of players get to here and then they drop their elbow before they go hit the ball. Or maybe they start with their elbow really high and then maybe they dr even drop their elbow low. A lot of things are happening at that trophy position that are not efficient and I'm all about efficiency for you. So I have a drill. It's conveniently called the half serve drill. So think of Jay Berger who got to top 10 in the world. He had a half serve. I believe that if you start in this position, which I call the half serve drill, if you start in this position, you can learn how to get your elbow in a better position and you can learn how to turn and coil. Because now we're eliminating all of this extra motion right here. We're setting the racket in this position right here, we're tossing the ball and we're practicing our turn. That's all we're doing. Now I want you to notice when I do this, notice my shoulders are just turning about six inches here and my hand and my elbow are not moving. Look at that, it's like it's on a swivel. So, I get in up into this position and I'm set. So I'll actually hit a serve now. And I just want you to see, I want you to see the difference, not the difference, I want you to see the half serve. So I'm gonna set the racket. Now notice how the hand is on the dominant side of the body, the hitting side of the body, and all I focus on is turning. Okay, I'll do one more. So I set the racket, my, my arm is at a 90 degree angle. So my, my lower arm and my upper arm are at a 90 degree angle and I hit my serve. Now, I assign this drill to players and even my VIP clients, and sometimes they struggle with it. This beginning position, they don't set up correctly. They maybe start down here, or maybe their arm is straight like this, or maybe their wrist is cocked like this, or maybe they start with their racket. So even though I give them the drill and they see the video, they're not able to start in the correct position. They might even have the racket like this, like they're about to do the old back scratch, okay? I don't recommend the back scratch as the start of the half serve. What I like to show players is they, they set the hand or the arm at a 90 degree angle and the racket, is, the racket tip is pointed up and towards the net and there's play in the wrist. So the wrist is not stiff. There's a little bit of relaxation. Now, players struggle finding that position now, even if they can find that position, I still see players struggle because they'll turn, they'll turn and then they'll drop their elbow like this. So their move looks something like this. And of course, we don't want a low elbow. So there's a modification that I wanna give you and it's one that can really help players, especially at the club level. If I set a player in this position and they turn and they drop their elbow, you'll see this racket position right here. 
they'll turn and they'll take their racket like this. We have to give a modification. So I simply like to bring the hand closer to the head. So imagine if I was going to throw a ball, instead of being back here, I'm gonna start with my hand really close to my ear like this. Now, if I put my hand, if I put my hand really close to my ear, okay, that's the position you wanna feel. So it's almost gonna feel like you're cramped. It's gonna feel like you're cramped like this. So instead of being here when you start and turning like I was showing earlier, because again, players struggle with this sometimes, I make them bring it all the way in. So it's gonna feel like, hey, I, my racket is right on top of my head right here. And my hand is really close to the ear. So it's, again, it's like throwing a ball. I'm right here before I go. I set, the, I set the hand and you'll notice if I were to throw a ball, look at how there's a little bit of play in my wrist. It's a little bit relaxed. So now all I do is I just put the racket in my hand. I'm not here, I'm in here, I'm in tight. A lot of players, when they turn, they get that hand to go away. That's their natural motor pattern. That's what works for them, but it's not efficient. Now, one more little tip I wanna give you around this. We are essentially keeping the hand and the racket closer. You can even tap before you start. So you can tap your racket on your head and then you can make your move, okay? Do it one more time. So I tap and I'm go. Keeps it real simple. The mistake players make is that they come in here and then when they turn, their wrist is cocked in this position like this. And now the racket's behind the head. We don't want that. We want to stay in what I call the phone booth. So we want to start real close, but the racket's going to be vertical. And the way it's vertical is with this ulnar deviation. So the wrist is in this position instead of this position. This is a big thing to get. So you start here and when you turn, look at how the racket is more vertical. So I want you to practice setting in this half serve and then get that racket more vertical with this ulnar deviation. And now you can go, you can go after that serve, okay? So let's summarize this. So you're gonna start with the half serve drill. The second thing I want you to do is I want you to get that hand and that racket closer, okay? Don't let it get away from you when you're turning. Don't let the elbow drop. And the third thing I want you to make sure you do is that your wrist is relaxed, that you have that ulnar deviation and the racket is vertical. And if you get this set up right and you get this first move right, guess what? It's going to get more ingrained. It's gonna get more natural. You're gonna change bad habits. And then we can start to move the racket down to get into that full motion. So if you enjoyed this lesson today, make sure you click the link below or somewhere in this video. We're gonna help you take your serve to the next level also, we have incredible opportunity for you, VIP coaching, absolutely free. We give 30 days of free coaching to anyone that wants to take their game to the next level. And the way it works is you can submit videos for 30 days and our certified coaches are going to analyze and they're gonna give you drills just like this with this level of detail, forehand, backhand, it doesn't matter. Serve, volleys, footwork, strategy, mental game, we are trained to help you. It's the best deal out there and you can click below. Thanks so much for your time today.